Today's health cast, the coolest thing to hit sports medicine in many years. A lot of professional athletes swear by cryotherapy to heal their sore muscles and their joints. But can spending a few minutes in extreme cold have even more benefits? Our medical specialist, Christy Kruger, takes a closer look at the growing popularity of cryotherapy. I like this one, but it really doesn't fit anymore either. Christine Green can't believe she went from a size 16 to a size 8 in less than one year without dieting or even stepping up her exercise routine. Christine says that it was cryotherapy, the power of liquid nitrogen, that did the trick. I went into it more of a curiosity. Um, like I said, I always like to try new things. I went into it really for the good mood, for the pain relief. Um, I never expected the weight loss. That was a surprise. It's just dry cold. So it's like if you're in the middle of Canada, you step out in the middle of winter, you're stuck outside for two to three minutes. It's that cold. Except in Canada, it isn't around 230 degrees below zero, and you usually wear a coat. In these now popular cryo saunas, you do wear mittens and socks and march in a circle, while the extreme cold air reportedly tricks your brain into going into survival mode. And so you get that blood rushing from the extremities into your core, where it filters, oxygenates, and nourishes. And when you step out, now the blood rushes back in, because now you don't have that, that cold response. And so your body's been activated. That activation is supposed to increase metabolism and circulation, release feel-good endorphins, and decrease inflammation and pain. So I gave it a two-minute try. 12 more seconds. I really feel it in my knees right It now. was cold, but not uncomfortable. And I did get a boost of energy. All done? Judy Manso had a more profound result. The 45-year-old has multiple sclerosis and says she's out of her wheelchair and walking thanks to regular sessions of cryotherapy. The way that I sleep, the, the, the how I feel, my mood, um, everything, I do notice a difference in all as aspects, not just, oh, I can walk from here to there. To me, it's refreshing, it's invigorating, and afterwards, you feel amazing. Now cryotherapy first began in Japan, where a doctor used it to treat rheumatoid arthritis. It's still being studied right now here in the U.S., and it's not regulated by the FDA. That's why cost varies. So this is one of those cases, guys, where if you are interested in trying it out, shop around for a cryotherapy center where people have experience and have certification as well. And by the way, it is absolutely not recommended if you have high blood pressure. I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. Now here are Calvin and Lori.